the question to Andrew is, if not a referendum, then how does a country secure its independence? Basically, you are changing this union from a partnership based on consent, if there is support for independence, from a partnership based on consent to a position, a union that can only be secured through force of law. So the question to the Tories is, if it's not going to be a referendum when the people of Scotland unequivocally vote for one, if not a referendum, how does a country become independent? Andrew? Well, it might have passed Kate's notice, but it didn't pass mine that, the people, that, that Scotland had a referendum uh, in 2014 and the people of Scotland gave their consent to remain in the United Kingdom. That was, you know, less than seven years ago. And I, I really don't think that right now, given everything we've been talking about already, we haven't even touched on coronavirus yet in this programme, that we should be seeking to, to go down the rabbit hole of another damaging and divisive uh, separation referendum. And what we should be really focusing in uh, on is rebuilding our country and recovering from one of the, the most damaging economic uh, catastrophes to befall us since the, the end of the Second World War. It's deeply irresponsible. And our focus and not is on jobs, rebuilding the economy and getting this country back in its feet. And it's right. really shameful that that's not the SNP's priority as well. Okay. They are, they are not, they are not, they are not mutually exclusive. And ultimately, you are now in a position of being anti-democratic, as uh, Kieran Martin, who was one of the key architects of the Edinburgh Agreement, said: "Fear of a result is not a reason to ignore Scotland's election result." And right now, the Conservatives are fearful of the result, and so all they can say is no. Rather than presenting the positive case for the union, which I'm still to hear from Andrew or indeed any of his colleagues. They just say no, because they know they will lose. But that has fundamentally altered the union from a partnership based on consent to one that can only be protected through force of law, uh, and that is anti-democratic.